Hey guys, this is Point. Today's topic is alcoholic hepatitis. Uh, this is very important topic for USMLE examination, especially for a step two and a step three. Uh, let me start with this. Okay, before starting with this, let uh, I just want you to please subscribe to my channel. Okay, uh, definitely it will help me and boost me to upload more videos. Okay. Let me start with the definition uh, and the pathophysiology. Progressive inflammatory liver injury associated with a long term heavy intake of ethanol. So, remember just for uh, knowledge purpose, clinical presentation patients with clinically symptomatic alcoholic hepatitis typically presents with non specific symptoms of nausea, malaise, and low grade fever. So, how do they present? Just in a USMLE, they give the history that patient is uh, alcoholic, past history is alcoholic, and he comes with uh, malaise or a fatigue, or sometimes a low grade fever. Okay, fever with a tachycardia. Sometimes they can have a fever with a tachycardia. So tachycardia, uh, this tachy uh, tachypnea, and there also be a tachypnea that leads to respiratory alkalosis. Okay, on examination you find enlarged liver with um, mild hepatic tenderness okay so hepatomegaly results from both steatosis and swelling of injured hepatocytes remember this steatosis let me recall you about the pathology if the patient if the histologist shows steatosis and you advise the patient to stop the alcohol intake if he does so then the liver injury can reverse back to normal okay very important point the manifestations of hepatic failure or portal hypertension may include scleral icterus with darkening of the urine, splenomegaly, asterixis, flapping tremors, characteristics of metabolic encephalopathies. So remember just these are the symptoms and the signs of uh, hepatic encephalopathy, hepatic liver failure, cirrhosis, these usually you know. Let me move on to next slide. Lab findings in most patients with aspartate amino acids is moderately elevated compared to ALT. So whenever you see AST by ALT ratio greater than one, first think of alcoholic hepatitis. Very important. Next is a complication. There are many complications. Just I wrote only two complications. There is a varicel. Uh, hemorrhages and uh, hepatic encephalopathy how to manage varicell hemorrhage is very important topic I will discuss later okay uh, alkaline phosphatase level uh, uh, are increased or typically mild increase in the ALP uh, G GGTP levels is uh, elevated markedly by the alcohol use Although a normal value helps to exclude alcohol as a cause of liver disease, very important. An elevated level is of no value in distinguishing between simple alcoholism and alcoholic hepatitis. So this is what I generally. So in US uh, they will give the history of a patient of a 50 to 50 to 50 years old, alcoholic, comes with the mild abdominal pain on the right side or. A uh, nausea, vomiting, or fever. Examination: the liver is mildly tender, right? So, and AST by ALT ratio is increased. So, first think of alcoholic hepatitis. Treatment plan is first thing. What you need to advise the patient is stop drinking alcohol. Very important. The treatment plan of this alcoholic hepatitis is a nutritional plan rather than a drugs. So diet containing 100 gram of protein is appropriate. So you need to give multivitamins, folate, thymine, salt restriction very important for if patient has a ascitic fluid. Okay. The drugs what we can use is a naltrexone or a composite. Okay. There is there is a Madrid discriminant function score more than 32. Um, if the score is more than 32 use steroids if there is any contraindication for the use of steroids in that patient then go ahead with the pentoxifiline okay the ultimate and the best treatment is transplant 
okay let me see whether i'm done with this okay i'm done with this thank you so much for watching my video please let me know how do you feel about this please do subscribe subscribe subscribe